Hello guys and welcome to a new video. In today's video, I have a high kill aggressive gameplay. But before that, I want to share a quick tip that every single player should know by now, which is how to gain advantage over your enemies using cover. We all know that finding cover is very important before engaging with enemies, but many players don't know how to use it properly. I'm not sure if there is a specific name for this technique, but let's call it angle narrowing. And to explain it, I have a few examples for you. In the first example, I was being chased by a thirsty player. And after losing all my armor, I was in a big disadvantage. And I knew this enemy would keep chasing me until he kills me. So I had no other option but to fight back. And to gain a bit of an advantage, I went towards these stairs and I used them as a cover. The enemy was expecting me to keep running away, so he put his gun down to move faster. But I surprised attacked him when he least expected it. And he basically gave me a free kill. And this is the moment where I used angle narrowing. So I see his teammate pushing. First of all, since I knew there were more enemies in cell house, I used this wall as a cover to block their vision while I deal with this one. Second of all, here's how to use angle narrowing. When you start engaging, what you want to do is try to expose the least amount of your body to the enemy. So I start shooting at him while moving my joystick to this direction towards the bottom of the stairs. And this way, I'm able to see the entire body of the enemy while the enemy can see my head and part of my chest only. And here's a point of view from the enemy side. That's why I called it angle narrowing. Because you're narrowing Throwing the enemy's vision angle, making it harder for them to aim at you. Moving on to the second example, I was being sniped by this enemy. So I rushed him with a bike and I managed to take him out. But then his teammate shows up, so I used my skill to rewind back to the rock to use it as a cover. And right here, I realized I don't have time to heal up, so I decided to engage right away. But as soon as I come out, things get even worse, as the third teammate shows up. And this is where angle narrowing comes in clutch. So when dealing with multiple enemies, you want to start with the enemy that's further away from the cover. And in this case, this enemy right here. Because we'll be using this rock to block the vision of the trickster enemy while we deal with the other one. So I start shooting, and at the same time, I'm moving towards the cover narrowing the angle for the enemy while avoiding getting shot by the two of them. And I managed to perfectly take him out just in time. And again, since I had no time to heal up, I had to take my chances and engage with the last enemy. Moving on to the final example, at the end of this game, it was me against two squads. So the plan here was to take high ground. But in order to do that, I had to eliminate the squad that had it under control. And after eliminating the high ground squad, it was me versus three enemies. But I had high ground advantage over them. And I want to use the chance to give you guys a basic tip on how to deal with two of the most annoying classes in the game. The mechanic drone and the ravager launcher. The answer is very simple, but not many players are aware of it. You just shoot them down. So in this case, I don't have stairs or a rock to use as a cover, but I have high ground. And in order to narrow the angle, every time I'm shooting, I'm either moving to the side or backwards. And the main goal here was to deal with these two enemies near the airdrop while blocking the vision of the sniper in the back. And once I got them, I switched my focus to the sniper. That was all for angle narrowing tip. I hope you guys find it useful. And now let's move on to the gameplay. As I have a bit of a sweary aggressive game and it's one of the games where I got accused of cheating. I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started. The revived flight will arrive in one minute. I had an easy start, but things about to get more intense as I headed towards the squads that landed on platform.
Airdrop incoming. Live flight will arrive in one minute. Right here, I was analyzing the area, debating whether I should go in or not, and I decided not to. So instead, I back out a little, and I found myself getting pushed by another squad. Flight will arrive in one minute. A smart use of the rewind here. These guys were pushing together with shotguns, and even though fighting them was possible, it was also very risky, especially with the igniter class. So I used the rewind to split them apart. Not only I succeeded in that, but I also had a perfect cover that significantly narrowed the angle of the first enemy, allowing me to knock him down easily. And then the double speed boost, one from the rewind and another from the golden ADS mod, allowed me to knock the second enemy without taking a single bullet. Moving on to the next fight, there were so many enemies near crash site, and they were busy fighting each other, so it was a perfect chance for me to go in as a third party. But going in deep was very risky, so I positioned myself outside, and I started taking out as many enemies as I could before going in. Down to the last five teams.
داداش مادرت تو فکر کنم اکتیویژی میگاد بعد اینجوری بهت مادر جندت بره با این چیت زدنت انگار کست ننت بابا مردم میذاره بازیه چرا میای میریم تو بازی بقیه کست کش نا چی تو کست کس به تیران میذاری A very, very sad ending to the game. Going through all the sweat, eliminating most of the squads in the lobby, only to die to a camper. This guy was a pro snake. I actually haven't seen him until I checked the recording. And to make things even worse, his footsteps were silent. I couldn't hear any sound and the footsteps indicator wasn't showing on my screen. And to add the ice into the cake, from all the classes in the game, the last enemy had to have a Ravisher launcher, perfectly timed to my fall. Although I do blame myself for the aim here, if I had better aim and knocked him out, First of all, I would have been able to react faster to the last enemy. And even if I didn't, I could have fallen down in peace and then either heal up or rewind back, depending on what he does. I could have also fell down to this rock and use it as a cover to block the rockets. But I had very little time to think. Nevertheless, I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay and if you did, a like would be highly appreciated. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.